What is up guys, this is Corrupt here. This is the second game of the NCAA Dynasty mode, which I'm going to be continuing to do. I'm going to try and get NCAA 14 for this, so I can uh, start doing that one. But that one's kind of expensive. So uh, I just want to talk about today, <laughs> to do this commentary like maybe three times. First time at, uh, I was at work on lunch in the car, and you can hear my engine just, I don't know what the hell it was doing. It was just really loud in the background. And uh, then I started doing it again on one of my breaks, and then my laptop died, so that was very unfortunate. So it's about 11 at night right now, so hopefully this goes well. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about um, just a little bit about what happened uh, previously. So it's, I think it's like maybe two to three day gap. Um, this is a nice run, by the way, like a two to three day gap of not uploading. So I recorded this a while ago, and um, maybe like the, the day after um, I uploaded my first video, and uh, then we were doing some cleaning around the house, <laughs> and I was uh, helping my wife, she, you know, picking up trash from our room, and, you know, just putting stuff where it went, and I have a container where I put my stuff in, it's like a little tin container where I put my Elgato, my wires, my, uh, my splitters, and stuff like that that I have for, you know, recording. <laughs> so we're cleaning and then I guess I lost my wire for my snowball so my snowball my primary use of recording commentaries I don't use anything else just because it sounds really choppy and it sounds the best to you know to be completely honest so I, I was looking for it for like two days couldn't find it and um, we I eventually got to throwing out you know some of the bags that we had of trash and uh, my wife's like, well, maybe maybe they threw it away or maybe you threw it away. And I remembered my son has a habit of throwing stuff in the trash. So I was like, oh, damn, maybe he did throw it. So if you live in Texas um, or I mean, I'm not sure where you live, but I'm sure, pretty sure it's pretty cold where you live. But recently it's been in like the 30 and 40 degrees, which is terrible for us. Can't handle it. And um, I, I go to the dumpster <laughs> where I threw my trash and I'm opening bags. I'm hovering we're literally standing inside the dumpster and it was a good run too i would really wish i would have broke for a td that would have been a sick play anyways um i'm in the dumpster and i'm pouring stuff out and ripping open the bags and i have one bag left i was like okay this has got to be it got to be the bag if not then i'm screwed so i slip and i fall and the door that you slide the dumpster from the side in and out with or open with I fell and hit my shin really hard and I cut it open and it's just gross just because man good this is a good play right here I have to say it this is like, that was like crazy spin move but hit my hit my shin and cut it open on a dirty ass dumpster so that was very unfortunate I, I kind of just gave up I was like whatever I'll order another wire and <laughs> so we order a new wire and yesterday night I was like, okay, I'm going to just record my other videos and start getting, you know, ahead on it. That way I have, you know, just to do commentaries and editing and do stuff like that at a later time. So I get my stuff and I get my tin with my Elgato. And sure enough, my wire was in there. So it was, it was just terrible that I, I didn't look in the most obvious view of where it was. This kind of pissed me off. I should have sacked that dude. That, that made me mad. I was like, no way he broke that tackle. But... That was just a little bit of a story time of what happened and why I didn't upload right away. This was also a good return. I was hoping to just break free for that. I was breaking tackles left and right. I almost made a damn touchdown. I was so mad. I was like, ah, trying to get for, trying to get really good plays for my videos. <clears throat> uh, one more thing I'm gonna go ahead and mention on is uh, I'll try and uh, just keep the. I mean, I haven't got any feedback for, it, but um, I'm probably gonna keep some defensive. I guess not my not defensive my my opponents good plays and whenever they do something good or if they score on me I'm gonna try and leave that in there just because it's entertaining rather than just you know me you know being the only one that's not what that way it's not one sided so I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce that I'm gonna try and edit it to where it's it shows only you know good plays both on enemy team or enemy team man playing too much Call of Duty on the opposing team and you know my team so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that from now on. And this is a nice little run here, the fullback dive, jumping in. I really wish the animations were a lot better whenever you dive in. Like, I think on, was it on 14? I think, I don't know, I haven't played NCAA in a while. Like, you get like that ragdoll effect if somebody like hits you midair while you're jumping over the line. It looks pretty sick. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm kind of sad that they stopped making these games. And I was, I was, uh, I realized I was like, oh, I have NCAA 13. I'm gonna get 14 because it's probably cheap because this game's like five dollars at GameStop. So I look it up. NCAA 14 is 60 or no, not 60, 50 damn dollars, 50 dollars for a damn old game. And I mean, I, I kind of understand it just because it's was released. Well, well, not released, but it's the last NCAA. Oh, that was a good run. But it's the last NCAA football game that has been made. I'm not sure about basketball if they still make those. I don't really keep up with that, but it's the last one. So I guess it kind of makes sense for it to be kind of expensive. But, jeez, it's just, I don't know. I don't really know if I want to pay that much for an old game. But, I mean, it was fun. You know, I didn't get to play NCAA 14 too much, but when I, I know it was a lot better than 13. If I remember, I could be wrong. It could just be so damn similar because they were kind of similar in many ways i think they mainly just updated like the features of the characters which kind of comes to my next point which i mentioned on my my other video um about why they stopped making ncaa's and um i was reading into it and i saw an article i just can't remember exactly what it says but um my buddy of mine had told me that they stopped making them because they were using the player's likeness and they weren't giving them like you know money or any sort of like compensation for using their own character in the game um, but I heard or I read an article it was just one article so I'm not sure if it's factual or not if you have any insight on that definitely let me know or hit me up with the with an article but it was something totally different than than that I mean I guess it was one of the reasons but it wasn't like a big deal and I hear that they're not going to be making an NCAA you know ever Ooh, this was a that was a good throw. I rarely make good throws. I can never go downfield with the damn throw. But I heard I heard there's another one. It's, I think it's it's gridiron something. Um, I, man, I, I'm totally blanking out right now. But it's a it's gonna be a new NCAA game. But it's gonna be well not NCAA. It's gonna be college football. So it's not gonna be the NCAA NCAA EA Sports title. It's gonna be you know NCAA football, but just not that title it's gonna be gridiron something and that's not gonna be released until 2019 or 2020 something like that so it's gonna be another year or two before it's even released and i mean to even think that it might not even be good i'm, I'm i mean i'm hoping I, I wouldn't imagine it'd be too hard to make a football game but at the same time i i feel like it might be one of those games like the so ps4 has mlb the show um, Xbox didn't they have you know MLB 2K and then they have the RBI or something. I mean they put it on PS4 now as well, but it's not really a good game. It looked kind of cartoonish if, if I remember correctly. It kind of I think it reminded me of like the the Bigs. I'm not sure if you remember that like the huge characters that just hit bombs on on baseball, but. <clears throat> That's kind of what um, I'm expecting from this, but I haven't done a lot of research, but I'll probably do some more research, and oof, that was a good run. I was having so many good runs on this game, and look at 181 yards, 14 r rushes out of out of all that. That was that was just amazing, and finally going downfield more with throwing the football a little bit more downfield. I can't do it. If I see double coverage, I, I, I won't throw it at all. I just, I just won't even attempt to try and do that. But yeah, man, this game is really fun. I'm having I'm having a ton of fun, having a blast with it, and I, I hope y'all are enjoying the gameplay because you know I want to do that for y'all as well. But I also want to upload stuff that you know I want to do, and I just haven't been feeling any other games other than just PS3 games. So I'm just gonna enjoy it, and you know take it day by day and start doing videos, you know, on and recording and doing stuff that I kind of want to do. Um, I'm probably gonna try and do a live commentary here soon on uh, the NCAA, uh, maybe the camera as well. I'll try and add my uh, my webcam in there to see if that might be good. I don't know if that's a good idea because you can't really see. But I think the probably the better camera placement would probably be mid, like I guess middle of the, not the middle of the actual like um, the gameplay. But look at this. This is why I don't go downfield because I always change my character and then I move them out of the way instead of letting the robot just fly the route like it's supposed to. So I always that's kind of why I don't go downfield either because I always fucking do something stupid. But I probably have it like in the middle, like the center right of the page or center left of it, just to to have me there. But I'm not exactly sure that it might be too distracting, or like if I'm if I throw a football down the football downfield to the right side, you're not gonna be able to see the catch because it's gonna be blocking it. So it's like I gotta make a compromise for something. So maybe the bottom no, bottom right really wouldn't be too well either, just because I mean maybe. 
I don't know. I, I gotta work it out. I'll probably look at some other videos of people that do football. I forgot this one guy. It's like T something. For some reason, I keep thinking T Martin, but I know it's not T Martin. It's T something or D T or T D something. I don't know. Some white guy, um, kind of young, and he makes like a lot of Madden videos. I'm totally blanking on his name right now, but he makes a lot of good uh football videos for like madden and ncaa but i, I kind of don't remember where his camera placement is i might take some tips and look at his videos right here i was for sure thinking i was gonna break through hit that spin move didn't work out and uh, it's a pretty close game right now I and mean, i'm gonna punt it here and going for it with a fourth and seven this is pass usually works for me but i put a little bit too much gas on that there and threw it out i was kind of mad because I was like, man, they can actually make a comeback. 28 to 20, that's that's too close. It always happens to me. I'll, I'll be kicking their ass, and then all of a sudden, they're making a comeback. Look at that. Touchdown. And they go for two. Can we stop them? I don't remember. I don't really, I really don't remember. I think we do. I don't, <laughs> I don't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, we did. We stopped them here, thankfully. Look how close he was, but man, that would have been terrible. And, of course, they're going to go with that onside kick here. But, thankfully, we recover. For me, I mean, at least in a video game, of course, in real life, this is easy. No, it's like a no-brainer. You're just going to take a knee. Me, nope. I, I try and run it. I try and throw it. I try and get a touchdown right before the end of the game just to kind of, I guess, not showboat, but just to get that extra lead so it's not as close. I don't know. I, I, am I the only one that does that? If you're if you do that in the comment or if you do that, leave a comment and you know let me know if you you like to try and blow them out as well so you can get a <laughs> get a nice nice lead so it's not so close. But we're nearing the end of the video, guys. If you made it this far, I appreciate that. I really do. I enjoy you know making videos and making content. That was a I, that was incredible. I don't even know how he even caught that. I swear that was going to be intercepted right away. I I just had a gut feeling. I was like, nope, that's gonna suck. And then I do a you know a shitty kick here <laughs> goes out of bounds. But anyways, again, let me finish off the video. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you enjoyed it, hit a like. That I definitely appreciate that. Likes motivate me, and so do subscribers. Uh, if you have any suggestions or uh, want me to maybe do some more gameplays, leave me a comment. I definitely appreciate that. So y'all take care, guys. Thank you for watching. situation here it's second down and one so they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up they'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one he sails it long the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete we had a fight to the finish here today 34 26 Longhorn. New Mexico. 26. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? This is just a tough, tough loss to take. New Mexico has got to be heartbroken to lose such a close game as this one was. They came in as huge underdogs, but they played their hearts out and almost came away.